Hello everyone and welcome to a Khan Academy tutorial. Today we are finding angle measures using triangles. In the following diagram, HI is parallel to JK. Just kidding. What is the measure of X? Angles are not necessarily drawn to scale. Okay, so don't get your protractor out and put it on your screen. That's what it's saying. All right, now, this one's a lot um, not comp more complicated, I want to say, but it's definitely a step up from the previous video on triangle angle sum, which you just subtracted from 180. That's something you do need to know in case you didn't watch that video. Um, well, shame on you if you didn't watch it. Thanks for supporting me. But all the angles in a triangle need to add up to 180 degrees. So angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 always needs to add up to 180 degrees. Otherwise, it's not a triangle, okay? So our goal is to find X. Well, how can we find X if it's not part of the triangle? If we're told that these two lines are parallel to each other, then we know something about them. You'll have to watch another video on what parallel lines and a transversal. In this case, this would be the transversal of interest because it's touching angle X with these two parallel lines. Transversal means it's crossing two or more lines. And if, it's, uh, if they're parallel, then that means it creates an identical angle here. So this will also be angle X. Now, what do we do from here? Well, we know that 56, mm, I guess we'll make it green, 56 plus 66 plus X has got to be equal to 180 degrees because those are three angles in a triangle that we said earlier. Here's a triangle, or here's an angle, here's an angle. Those are all three angles of this yellow triangle right here. Okay, so we just need to do some subtraction. So we're going to subtract. 56 and 66 from 180. I'm going to go ahead and show that. So we do minus 56, minus 56, minus 66, minus 66 from 180. And we get for our answer, x equals 58. Where's my blue? x equals 58. So that's our answer. So just a little bit more complicated, just one more step involved using the parallel lines. What is the measure of angle X? Uh, again, not drawn to scale, but we're told that these lines are parallel and perpendicular. We're told that this is per, uh, perpendicular here. I think that's BA, where is it? Uh, DE and KL, okay, that's one, and FG are perpendicular. And then DE and FG are parallel, okay? So that's important, okay? So now we should be able to find this. Now, this is a problem almost identical problem on the test that I have for class. So if you're watching and you're my class, <laughs> make sure you understand how to do this problem. But what do we do? Well, first we got to identify some vertical angles. Okay. Uh, we don't have, we see a triangle is formed here. Hopefully you guys can see that we got a triangle. Boom, 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 boom. We know that three angles need to add up to 180. Okay. But we only have one. We know that one is 90, but we don't know the other ones. So that's what we need to do. Okay. We're like, whoa, Mr. West, hold on. We don't really care about the triangle because X is over here. Can't we just pinpoint X? Well, I would agree with you, but we don't know any of these angles here or here or here or here. So it doesn't really help us. So if we can target the triangle, that's something we know and we can solve because we have vertical angles going on. If that is X, then this is also X because of vertical angles. And if that is 59, then this is also 59 because of vertical angles. Now we know that 59 plus 90 because we given that's perpendicular that was a clue plus x is going to be equal to 180 so now it's just as simple as 180 minus 90 minus 59 okay so we do minus 59 minus 90 minus 59 minus 90 and we get x equals 31 so we go ahead and put 31 in there 31 check it and we're done. Okay. Ooh, star. I remember lots of my students had problems with this one. Let's go ahead and see if we can figure it out. What is the measure of X? Angles are not necessarily drawn to scale. Again. Okay. So X is over there. We have this triangle here. Okay. That's part of one of the triangles that it is uh, that you we can see. Uh, there's also some other triangles that we could probably figure out as well. This is a, actually a tougher problem. You're going to have to use some creativity with this. So uh, let me kind of enlighten you as how to do that. Now, if I draw, if I drew that triangle, okay, this one, let's just brainstorm here. I have a missing angle there, missing angle there, and there's no way to know what those angles are. 
Okay, there's no way because we don't have that angle, we don't have that angle, okay? So we're kind of at a loss using that triangle. But because it's a star and we have all these overlapping lines, there's more triangles that we can create. So we want to try to get at least, okay? We at least want to try to get a triangle where we know two of the angles, okay? A known angle and a known angle and then one variable, okay? With that, we can find X. But if we only have one angle, then it's impossible. We, we're at an impasse and we can't solve this problem. So we need to somehow get two known angles uh, into a drawn triangle. Well, the only two angles we know are 31 and 40. So is there a way we can draw a triangle using those two? Well, they're both on this line, so I'm going to draw this line. So is there a triangle we can form? Okay, I'm going to connect it this way. Oh, I shouldn't go any further because here's this line. Okay, there. I have it. I have 31 here. I have 40 here. So I have two of the three angles, but now I'm missing one angle. Okay, I'm missing this angle here. Hmm, does that help us? Well, it should because we know X is right next to it. And X will be supplementary to that green one. We know that X plus that missing angle, we'll call it Y, is going to be equal to 180 because they form a linear pair okay so this one's definitely a more complicated one it starts with finding two angles in a in a triangle drawing that triangle and then seeing that x is supplementary to the tri to the angle that we are going to find so we know that 40 this is the relationship 40 plus 31 the two known angles plus y is going to be equal to 180 because we know that there's 180 degrees in a triangle and those are the three angles plus uh so we get 180 minus 40 minus 31 so we get y equals i'm not showing the step hopefully you guys know what i'm doing 109 degrees so we know this is 109 and now we have the rest of this we have 109 degrees uh equals 180 and then plus x so now we can solve for x by doing uh, 180 minus 109, and we get X equals 71 degrees. So a little bit more complicated with this one. Stick with it, okay? And you'll and you'll be okay. All right. Again, we're uh, we're told that we have some parallel lines here, BC and DE. It's already drawn uh, that they're parallel, as you can see. I don't know if I noticed it earlier. We're told that those are parallel, okay? And we're asked to find X. Okay. So what do we do here? Well, the first thing we should probably do is we want to find as many angles as possible. We see where X is. It's kind of in a tough spot right now. We'll have to get to that in a little bit, but let's just try to find as many angles as possible. So let's find this missing angle right here. Whoops, I wanted to do a different color. Let's find this angle right here, and we'll call that Y. So we know that 42 plus 103 plus Y is going to be 180 because they're all three angles in that triangle. So we have 180 minus 42 minus 103. So we get that's equal to 35. So Y equals 35. Now, why is that important? Well, we have, uh, as we showed earlier, we have parallel lines with a transversal. And now we know that this angle is, let me call it green, I guess. This is 35 degrees, okay? So we know Oh, actually, we're done. Look at that. We also know that this is a corresponding angle, so that's going to be 35. So X is going to be equal to 35 because that's in a corresponding angle spot with this angle. So that's one way to do that. Probably the easiest way to do this problem using corresponding angles. Okay, maybe I'll do like one or two more. Ooh, this one's great. This is an exterior uh, angle. So one thing you could do is you could find this angle and then add up uh, these three angles to equal 180 but there's a quicker way to do this using the exterior um, angle sum theorem and that is if you have an exterior angle okay that's exterior because it's outside the triangle with two remote interior angles meet remote meaning it's not the one next to uh, the exterior angle we know that this relationship is true 114 the exterior angle is equal to the two remote angles added together so 56 plus x if you want to use the supplementary angle, find X first and then, or excuse me, not X, but this guy right here, we'll call him Y. If you want to find that first and then use the triangle angle sum theorem, that's fine. But I just wanted to give you this formula because it makes it a little bit quicker 
and we get x equals 58 degrees. Okay, so kind of a quick, uh, not shortcut, but it is shorter. All right, next question. Okay, this one's gonna be fairly straightforward. We have parallel lines. This guy's gonna be 67. Okay, so now we have 180 minus 67 minus 40, what is that, 46? is gonna be equal to, what do you know, 67. Is that right? 180 minus 67 minus 46 is 67, okay. So we have 67, is it gonna be equal to x? All right, last one. Okay, this is another vertical angles one. We're told that it's perpendicular. So we need to do this guy, and we know this guy is 62. We know this guy is gonna be x because it's vertical. So now we have 180 minus 90 minus 62, and we get our answer, which is 28. Thanks for sticking with me on this one. Kind of a little bit longer one. But if you follow these steps, you'll have success just like we had here. Thank you so much for watching.